this, my friend, is Project Stand 4, my own PC case prototype. And while I love this outstanding design, it's still not that exceptional compared to other custom build. So my friend, today we are going to fix that by making it levitate. That will historically mark it as the first levitating PC case in the world. For that, I've removed the standoff, pushed some magnets, placed them between this case and... Ta-da! Levitating PC test number one. Hello everyone and welcome back to Hyperion. It's been a while. Alright, so here is the plan. Step one, we need to make this case levi... Levitate. And to do that, we need... Ah, oh, I have a board. We need magnets. We will put them here, here, here maybe. Also here and here. Thing is, we need them to be repulsive to each other, okay? How many? We will see that after. But the problem is, as you saw previously, instability. Which, by the way, in reverse is. But before fixing this problem, we need to make sure that we can at least lift our case by uh, one centimeter. And to know that, I had to take a scale and weight my case. Oh, you're heavy, bro. Then I purchased some magnets which had a pull force of 8.1 kilogram meaning that to separate them you will need to apply this amount of force which is kind of hard with your finger however this is only true if they're touching each other you all know that the magnetic force decreases rapidly with distance we can clearly see how fast thanks to this graph from kng magnetics so i did some math using my brain and now I know what to expect from these magnets. If this tool is accurate, our case will get as low as 4.5mm with one pair of magnets, 8 with 2, 10.5 with 3, and 13 with 4 pairs of magnets. And so, to confirm that, I've designed a small enclosure that will kind of work like a damper or scale thanks to two magnets repelling each other inside. I've also marked the expected level at which the case should hover, so now let's test that. Okay, so I've 3D printed my part then assembled them and on the first try it just worked flawlessly. Now the big question is will it work because if it doesn't this video is done, it's over. Alright, let's go. And just like that, our little pairs of magnet was able to lift the case. A true relief. Now let's take a closer look because as you can see we were indeed able to lift it up by 4.5 mm, exactly like in the website. So good job KNG. And if we add another pair of magnet, we rise up to 8 mm, exactly like in my calculation. And then another one, which makes us go all the way up to 11 mm. Boom, goal achieved. But we want to use only three pairs of magnets because, mmm, balance. Now you might wonder why aren't we counting the weight of the component inside. It's because I've sold them. But it's only about adding more magnets in the end, so not a big deal. This is anyway about a levitating PC case, not a PC build, right? Okay, so uh, step one, levitate. We have a way to lift the case. We have a way to lift the case. Check. But as you saw before, it's unstable. So step two is all about stabilizing the structure. <laughs> Question is, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to place our magnets. Is it like this, this, or this? I don't know yet. But what I do know is that here, balance is what matters the most. So we have to space them evenly from the center of gravity of our top case, which we can guess by using the software. We select our assembly and ask for the center of mass. And that's it, our center point is right over here. Now we just have to project it to the bottom of our case, which will be around... Ah, oh, great, it's in the void. So in the end I had to 3D print a part with a marker of the center to confirm that in real life, which I think was doing great until... Oh! My mouse... Not to myself, next time I will just use a pen cap, it's much simpler. And there we have it, an effective center of mass. Anyway, from here, I have spent a huge amount of time thinking about and designing a structure that will work. After a multiple revision and more than 10 hours later, I came up with this. Dusty. <laughs> Alright everyone, hello. I hope that you enjoyed this video. We are August 7th 
and、uh, all of what you just saw was already done, edited, finished everything four months ago. And I told myself, hey, you know what? When you will finish the video, you will release it. And here we are, four months after, still didn't touch the rest of the project. I kind of lost interest into making part two because, let's face it, making a PC case that levitates is pointless. But it's fun. However, everything is ready for part two. I will make it.、Uh, the part is here, the magnets are inside. Well, the plan is to take some fishing line, just like this one. And I will link these two parts with the fishing lines here, 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 here. I mean, all over here. It will be like a mesh. Magnets go e s here, and it should. It should. Theoretically, 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 theoretically. And I'm sure that we can manage something that is stable without breaking apart. So, yeah, I've already printed everything needed for that. So, here is it. Yep. Ready to be mounted. For another time. I kind of have a feeling with this video of how my channel will be. If you want to see part two and you really like this video, do not hesitate to tell me that. Alright, so if you like this video, do not forget to. <laughs> I don't want to say it! I only have 400 subscribers, which isn't normal, so just do it! <laughs>